And the BAFTA goes to Syria across the line. I was told that current affairs was a non-speaking part, so I've only prepared a speech to console my editor that we didn't win. Which is a really shit speech. Um, This is really, really amazing. I really did not expect to be standing here. So thanks very much indeed um, to my amazing team, Eamon, Chris, my genius editor, and Natalie and all the production staff. Um, There's a guy in Syria called Abdul Qadda al-Don, my fixer, who was with me through thick and thin in a very hostile environment, and he's somewhere out there. Abd, thanks, man. Um, I've got very mixed feelings about this. About 27 people were killed in the place where I was filming this documentary, and um, don't let that put you off your dinner. Um, And it's important that we're making this stuff, and this this goes an enormous way to championing documentaries that can genuinely tell us about what is going on in the world. And um, this is a huge honor. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. Thanks very much indeed. Um, I'm really, really shocked, actually, properly weeping. (laughs) uh, How did your speech go? I've no idea. I can't remember a thing. I remember a camera member being in front of me, and that was about it. Oh, no, um, don't. I, it's one of those surreal yeah. out-of-body experiences. But it was really... I mean, it's, it's, it, the thing is, the experience of making a documentary like that is so intense and so kind of lonely. You're out in a horrible place. And then so to come here to this incredible event with so many faces that I've kind of grown up with and then watched on telly and be part of that world is just kind of weird and kind of brilliant and awful and uh, confusing. So it's all great. It's amazing though but it must be so well um so flattering and also um a bit of a a kind of boost to you as well to know that your work's been recognized in that way. Yeah I mean it was amazing just to see my stuff on the same screen as so many other great films and uh this being BAFTA you know I've watched BAFTA since I was a kid so the fact that I'm even part of this was just crazy and I was I can't really handle that but to be actually to look back on the stage across you know these hundreds of people was uh, unforgettable. I, I'm, I can't get my head around it, really. Uh, when you're making a current affairs documentary like that, obviously you're quite reactive to what's going on. Yeah. So what are the challenges you're facing when you were making it as well? Well, the main one was not getting killed, because uh, <laughs> yes. there were uh, nearly 30 people were killed while I was making it. Um, and a number of people who I filmed have consequently died. So um, staying alive was the main priority. And then uh, living safely and eating well and then making a documentary and so it was a really challenging thing. So what is the incentive for you to do it if these are the kind of challenges you're facing every day mm. surely at some point you think do you know what this isn't it's you know I, it might win a BAFTA but it's something that I really have to think about a bit more seriously. Uh, well I, I, I never think this might win a BAFTA I'm mainly thinking I, I'm, I'm trying to think who are you know how would I react if I was these one of these people living in this way like what do ordinary people do in such an extraordinary situation and all my films in a way are trying to tell the story of how ordinary people will react to such extraordinary big international events and I think that's a story that needs to be told it's not about bombs and bullets it's about uh, life and how we live it and how we survive it you know and that's that's what they're all about really yeah well it's um it's definitely paid off congratulations yeah, it has, yeah. thanks uh, very presumably much presumably there's a celebration that won't be documented tonight i don't know i haven't even thought about that but thanks for pointing it out that's all yeah, right cheers. no cameras just <laughs> lots of champagne enjoy thanks nice very to meet much you. cheers